Hi, Tom Richardson for New England Boating. As most boaters know, batteries play a major role in the boating experience. However, they can also be a source of problems. Fortunately, there's ways to head off headaches by performing a little routine, simple maintenance before launching your boat each season. First of all, consider the age of your battery. Now, the typical lifespan for a lead acid marine battery is typically uh, four to five years. So if your battery's getting a little long in the tooth, consider playing it safe and buying a new one before the start of the season. Now, if your battery is under the age limit, then the first step is to clean the housing of any dirt or dust that's accumulated over the uh, storage period. I like to just simply use some WD-40, spray it on the housing, and just wipe it down with a, a cloth or a paper towel. Just get all that, that dirt and dust off of there. After that, turn your attention to the terminal posts. Uh, you can buy a, a terminal post cleaner like this one. It's got wire bristles uh, in the center of it that can get in between the threads of the terminal posts and get all that, any corrosion that's built up, any dirt, any, uh, any rust that may have formed. Just simply twist it around on the terminal post, get all that stuff out of there. This one also happens to come with a, uh, a stiff wire brush, and you can also use that to get in and get any corrosion off of those, off of those terminal posts. Get them nice and shiny for uh, um, ideal conductivity. Well, once you've cleaned the terminal post, the next step is to check the battery's electrolyte levels. Now, this can only be done on lead acid type batteries, not AGM. Uh, matte batteries or uh, gel cell batteries and also the battery has to have an inspection port that allows you to uh, to add the electrolyte and check the electrolyte levels. Now before you check the uh, the electrolyte levels make sure that you have a pair of safety glasses because you don't want any of that lead, that acid accidentally splashing up and hitting you in the uh, hitting you in the eyes. Take a uh, um, a screwdriver. Some of these uh, batteries have screw-off caps. These ones just have ones that have a, have a lid that pops right off very easily. Look inside and check the level. Make sure that all of the lead plates inside the battery are covered by the electrolyte. If you can see any of the uh, plates exposed or the water level looks low in one of the uh, areas, take some uh, distilled water, very important to use distilled water, not ordinary tap water, and simply add it to the ports to top off the levels. You also want to make sure that there's no dirt or gunk that can get inside there when you're adding the water, and it helps to use a funnel. Now you're ready to charge the battery. This is best done overnight with a three-stage charger, like this one. I use this one for charging my trolling motors and it works great. After your battery is charged overnight, check it with a volt multimeter to see if it's holding a charge. It should register somewhere above 12.4 volts. This one is measuring in at 12.68, uh, so we're good to go. However, I'm gonna check it again after 24 hours to see if it's holding a charge. If it isn't, I'm gonna need, probably gonna need to replace this battery. Once your battery is charged up and you know it's holding a charge and you're good to go, it's time to install it on the boat. Install it properly with bands or straps to keep it from moving around in the boat and protect it with a, uh, a battery box like this one as well. When it's time to attach the leads, use nylon insert lock nuts, not wing nuts, which can loosen up uh, during the season. Also, you want to tighten it down using a socket wrench. Once everything is tight and secure, cover the terminal posts and leads with dielectric grease, like this made by CRC. This will protect it from the elements during the season. Once the terminal posts have been covered with dielectric grease, slip a protective cover over the posts. So there you have it, some simple battery care tips to help ensure a safe and happy boating season. I'm Tom Richardson for New England Boating. Thanks for watching.